hello and welcome to the October vlog. Um, yeah, that's what we're doing now. We're already a couple days into October, but like, not too far. I've just been doing other things. Um, I'm actually off the first eight days of October from work, so that's nice. Um, I have eight days to just like do nothing. Um, I could say that I'm gonna get a lot of reading done this week, but like, I'm not. I already know I'm not. I just kind of want to relax and chill and have a good time. Uh, work on some booktube stuff. Like, read some for sure. But I'm not planning to get through like six or seven books. Even though like, I could if I tried. Um, but the book that I'm starting off with the week of October is Journey from the Land of No by Roya Hakakian. This is a non-fiction book. It's a memoir about growing up in Iran in the late 70s, early 80s, around the time of the revolution. Um, she's also Jewish, so that's, like, an interesting perspective. I started this in September, but just, like, the last day of September, I obviously didn't have time to finish it. And I'm, like, halfway through, almost. I'm, like, almost halfway through. So, this is currently what I'm working on, and I'm still listening to The Witches by Stacey Schiff, because that book is long. <laughs> Maybe listening to that when I was on my vacation was not the best idea just because I, I drive less when I'm on vacation because I don't go anywhere because like what is the point? I just want to sit at home in my pajamas and relax. <laughs> um, but yeah I think I should be able to renew that one though because I don't think I'm going to get through it in the three weeks I have. We'll see. We'll see. Um, but yes this is this is what I'm working on. <laughs> Things have happened, I've done things, I don't think I've updated the vlog, but you know, I'm me, so I decided to take a trip because, you know, it's my vacation week. Like, I don't want to do things during the week because I usually just get, like, random days off, you know, that aren't really, like, oh, my nail piercing, that aren't really, like, relaxing. Like, I don't get weekends. Like, I work retail, so I get, like random days occasionally I'll get two in the row but mostly it's like my days off for a week will be like Tuesday and Saturday like they are you know <laughs> next week which means having a week for vacation is like I take a few days to chill and I want to do something so I took a road trip out to the Green Valley Book Fair which is about two hours ish from where I live it's like this really massive book fair they buy books cheap that are like they like publishers like printed too many of or whatever so they buy them cheap and sell them cheap so you're getting like new books for like three dollars so i bought a bunch of books i also have lots so i'll show you some footage there um not talking because i feel awkward um and then after that i went to stanton which is like half hour from there and it's a the historic part of stanton is really nice there's the american shakespeare center is there um the blackfriars theater so the American version, obviously, which was where I've always gone to see Shakespeare. Um, didn't go there because I didn't have tickets and that's expensive. But like, I just like the town. I like wandering around. So I went to an indie bookstore and, you know, got more books. <laughs> and then I got like gelato from my favorite gelato place there. And it was nice. It was a nice day. Um, got way too many books, which is fine. <laughs> 
And then today, this was like two days ago, I haven't been vlogging. Today, my thrift books order that I forgot that I made came, so, oops. And not only did the order come, well, part of the order came, um, I was opening it and I was like, oh, there are four books in here. I didn't realize, like, I know I have three packages coming. I didn't realize there were four books in one package. So I opened it and I was like, I don't think I ordered these. Um, I got the two books I ordered, which I'll show you now because why not? Um, Karen Slaughter. I just got the whole Grant County series. <laughs> I just figured, like, I should. Also, random annoying thing. Why do they make mass market paperbacks that are different sizes? Like, I will never understand this. They're different sizes. Like, why do they do this to me? I hate this. This is why I don't collect her books, even though I'd like to. It's because some of them are like normal mass markets and then some of them are the weird tall mass markets. Like, what is this? Why? Why? I hate this. Um, but <laughs> the other two books in there, I was like, I don't recognize these. I'm fairly certain I didn't buy them. Um... They are Queen of Song and Souls by C.L. Wilson and then another C.L. Wilson book. I've never heard of these. These are fantasy romance. So I gotta wait and make sure that the rest of my order comes, which it should, because the other two books were the only books that were supposed to be in this package. So I don't know why I have these. It's the first time that Thrift Books has ever messed up an order for me, which like, I've been ordering from them for years, um, consistently, and they've never messed anything up before, so I guess I just have random books now? I don't know. I guess it's not a problem as long as my other four books come, which they should, because they're supposed to be in two different packages, so I don't know. Have you guys ever heard of C.L. Wilson? Should I keep these and read them? I don't even know if these are, like, randomly in the middle of a series, but I'm curious, so... Yeah, like, they're definitely fantasy romance. Um, <laughs> not really my thing, but now I'm curious. When I first brought Spleen home, she was afraid of soft things, and look at her now. She's come so far, it makes me so happy. And then there's Mimi, who's never known discomfort in her life. Mimi, where are you? Mimi. Ultimate comfort. Pardon the darkness. <laughs> uh, I should have turned on another light, but I'm tired. Today was my first day at work, which was... It happened. That's where we're at. Um, it happened. I survived it. And I'm going back tomorrow at 6 a.m. Yay. Um, I read today. I finished Journey from the Land of No. Finally. Um... I wanted to finish this while I was on vacation, and then I didn't. <laughs> I was tired. Um, I, I did read like three books while I was on vacation, which I didn't vlog for this video because I did a separate video about reading the lowest books on my TBR. Um, and I meant to finish this anyway, and it just kind of like didn't happen, which is fine. It's fine. Um, it was good. I should give you my thoughts that's the point of this it was good it wasn't like my favorite because I feel like it didn't really do a fantastic job of capturing everything that was happening culturally and politically and I mean not everything I obviously wouldn't expect it to capture everything because there was a lot going on but it felt like it it could have done a lot more and would have been a better book for it but it was still good it was still very worthwhile if you're interested in reading a book about Iran um especially from a Jewish Jewish perspective because most of what I've read has been definitely from the Muslim perspective like obviously like just statistically that is going to be more common but it was good I just probably wouldn't recommend it as like your first book on Iran because I don't know I think like had I not had a little bit of background reading some other things I think I would have been more confused than I was um but it was good like would recommend like three stars it was solid worthwhile yeah so I have to think of something else to read um because I have to take a book to work tomorrow and then I'm dog sitting for my parents dog the next few days so I have to figure out what I'm reading next and I'm just like so tired that I have no idea but I'm sure I'll find something
new location <laughs> i'm dog sitting um for my parents can't say no to that one so i am i am here well today is actually day three i haven't vlogged <laughs> whoops um today is day three of my dog sitting um and the final day i think unless i have to come a day next week because high maintenance puppy and demanding kitty she wants more attention than she gets poor thing but the dog is just so high maintenance so sweet and lovely but like so high maintenance um i am reading um the boys of my youth by joanne beard this is non-fiction it's essays um creative non-fiction i haven't read much creative non-fiction recently so this is kind of like the non-fiction i fell in love with when i was in college i took a lot of like creative non-fiction and lyric essay classes and like this is definitely more in that regard. I do like it quite a bit, but like some of the essays in it are like really beautiful. They're so gorgeous and like lovely, like written so well and I adore them. And then some of them just seem like way too much, just like over long, overwritten, like meandering. So it's a little bit of a mixed bag, but like I am really, really enjoying it overall. That's my food. It's not important. Um, and then I'm right now trying to listen to my audiobook. The Witches by Stacey Schiff is due in like three hours at the library. Um, so I can't renew it. So I'm just trying to like listen to it. I have it on like 1.25 speed, which it, I know is not a lot for many people. But for me, that is a lot. Um, I tend to always listen to my audiobooks very slowly because my brain, my brain is slow. But I am listening to that. I'll have time to finish it. It's less about like the time at this point than it is just my enjoyment level is waning. I don't like listening to audiobooks like this. Like I would rather be watching booktube or reading a physical book when I have that option. And I, I listen to audiobooks when I'm driving because it's like a good, it's a good task for me where like driving requires my attention, my focus. I can't like do anything else. But the audiobook allows like my brain to work at the same time like it's it works really well for me in that way but it's a little bit unfortunate just like listening to it and not doing anything else because I am bored and my mind is wandering a lot more I just don't love it but it's fine <laughs> I just I have to get it done because I have like at this point I have probably less than an hour left and assuming I won't be able to get it again for several weeks I don't know that I would ever finish it if I don't tonight so I'm just kind of like blowing through it I'm almost done anyway so like it doesn't matter all that much do you ever just randomly decide that you need to read a specific book for literally no reason hello spleen spleen tail say hello majestic I was just, I just finished my book that I was reading and I just got in my head. I was like, I really need to read The Snowman by Joe Nesbo. I'm like, I don't know a single thing about this book. <laughs> like, I know it's a thriller and I own it, but it was just like, I don't know anything about the plot really. Like, I haven't heard anyone talk about it. Like, I just randomly decided... I need to read that book. So I just spent 10 minutes going through all my shelves looking for it and it turned out it was on one of the double stack shelves in the back. So like I just spent so much time looking for this book and I don't even know why I want to read it. I just like desperately need to read it. So that's what I'm going to be doing. Also it's really hard to read on camera because like you can't see the Joe Nesbo bit at all. I have to like tilt it which is annoying but yeah this is what I'm going to be reading. Um Hopefully it's good. I don't know. My brain was just like, that is the thing that you must read at this point in time. So th this is what I will be reading. Thursday the 20th and I'm magically off. Um, it's one of those days where like I was scheduled to be off, but I really wasn't expecting to be. So it's, see, it feels like a surprise day off because um, we have inventory in a couple of days, which is just like a bad time at work. Always, literally always. Um, Everyone's working overtime, and by everyone I mean me and two other people, but we're working overtime, and 
I mean, like, I'm technically, like, off Saturday, too, but I'm definitely gonna be working a full shift Saturday. And my manager was like, take Thursday, you need it, so I'm taking Thursday. Um, it is morning. I woke up early. Well, I always wake up early. I can't sleep past, like, 6.30 anymore. My brain just, like, doesn't. Because I have maintenance coming today. Because there's, like, another problem with my sink. This is, like, the third or fourth time. Um, and my balcony door won't lock. So, very, very sketch. A spleen. Hi. Hello. So, they're supposed to be coming soon. So, I don't want to, like, try to film anything. Well, I don't have anything to film, but even if I did, I don't want to, like, be filming something and, like, they come. They said they'd come this morning. I don't know what morning means. It could mean, like, 2 p.m. or it could mean, like, in two seconds. So, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I am working on reading this. The Snowman. I'm pretty sure I pronounced his name wrong because I was thinking, like, he's... Norwegian and I think they might say J like a Y or like I would pronounce a Y so I gotta look up how to say his name before I say it again because I decided I was gonna do a review on this and then because uh, I haven't filmed a review in like a really long time because I've been feeling like super uncomfortable filming lately um like that vibe of like when you don't film for like a month and you come back and the first one's always like awkward and you just don't feel right I've been feeling like that only like it hasn't gone away it's like, I film a couple videos and it's like still there. So I don't know what that's about, but you know, it is what it is. So I was like, oh, I'm going to like film a video on this. So I've been taking notes and then just got like more and more sexist. And just like, this vibes is a man who hates women. <laughs> and like, I didn't really want that to be like my first review because I'm just going to talk about the sexism and like 90% of the negative comments I get on my channel are old from old book reviews where I talked about like sexism or homophobia or not liking something that's like a cishet man's white wet dream. Um, a cishet white man's wet dream. That's what I was trying to say there. But it's just like, and I get like so many negative comments for that. Um, which is fine. I delete most of them and just ignore. They give me views, so. Views and engagement. <laughs> but it's just like, I don't know. I'm gonna still film the review because I have notes and like I've been like putting effort into taking notes and like I want to get back into filming book reviews because like that's what I care about the most and like when I don't film book reviews I don't come up with I don't have enough video ideas <laughs> like book reviews are kind of like what I base my channel around so like when I'm not filming them I just don't know what I'm doing so I gotta I'm going to do that I'm just weirdly anxious about it and also I have to read the book to do that because I'm like only halfway through so yeah I'm listening to things I'm reading an ebook I can't decide if the ebook is racist or if it's intentionally so I can't decide um I'm almost at the end so we'll see it feels almost intentionally done but I don't know. I don't know. Um, we'll see. I gotta like, I gotta see on that one. And I'm listening to White Fragility, which is really good. It's, it's really worthwhile. I highly recommend to white people. Um, it is like, it's calling you out and it's making you like reflect on yourself a lot. Or me at least. It's making me reflect on myself a lot and think about like what I do. So it's really worthwhile. And I'm gonna try, I would like to finish this today. But I don't know if that will happen. If I finish this today, then I can film the review and post it on Monday. Because I don't have a video for Monday. Because I was going to finish up my video about moving all of my books from my childhood bedroom here. And so I went over to my parents' house yesterday to do it. But then their dog was really sick and their cat was really sick. And everyone has a vet appointment today. And it wound up not happening. So I still haven't done that. And because of inventory... I'm just gonna be working every day and it's also like more than half hour drive so I don't want to do it on like you know my day off so yeah we'll see we'll see I don't know what I'm doing this has been a nothing update I just like yeah thank you for watching I don't know why you would these vlogs are just like the most boring videos I make I should stop making them but like eh let me let me
it's been like a few hours um I did things so I finished reading the snowman and then I filmed my review for it and like I'm pretty sure it was a terrible review and like I talked for 20 minutes about nothing and I'm pretty sure like what I talked about could have been like a five minute review but I filmed it so not only do I have a video for Monday now but like I feel like the first review is the hardest or like if I just get used to like I don't know being uncomfortable feeling like I'm doing a bad job again because like I don't know half of that's stop fighting hey bads yes you they're fighting um if I can just get used to the feeling that I'm doing a bad job and just like completely disregard that my reviews will probably just be fine again <laughs> like there's that it also was not a good book um I, I decided to do the review when I thought I was going to like the book, so and then I wound up being like really sexist, so half the review is just me talking about how it kind of seems like Joe Nesbo hates women, because that is how you pronounce his name. Also, maintenance came. <laughs> my, my balcony door is still broken, it doesn't lock, so here's hoping I don't get murdered over the next several days while they order a new lock, because apparently that's just the plan. It's too early to be vlogging. But um, I started a new audiobook because I finished White Fragility, which fantastic, highly recommend. Like, if that book makes you look at yourself as a white person and it calls you out on all that stuff. So yeah, definitely pick up that. So I decided to start. Um, oh, what's it called? Know My Name by Chanel Miller, and I had to stop like seven minutes in. Um, yeah it's read by her and she's just very clearly not an audiobook narrator you know like it was kind of rough and I just knew it was gonna like affect my enjoyment of the book and that book is so well reviewed that like and I, I want to like really like it and give myself the chance to like it so I'm just gonna find a physical copy somewhere and read that in the future which is kind of disappointing because I wanted to read it now and also I don't have an audiobook so I, I I stopped it with like less than 10 minutes in and because it was the kind of thing where you could just you could tell um so I stopped it with less than 10 minutes in which my whole ride down I just listened to music and I don't know if I can download one at work because like our internet is not great so um yeah I don't know if I'm gonna have an audiobook to listen to on the way home either um, and also I have to find one, and I, I don't know if I have any just available, so I might have to go searching for nonfiction audiobooks again. Which, as always, if you have any recommendations, leave them down below, because I'm desperate and I go through them kind of quickly. But, um, yeah, I just wanted to update that. And I also finished my ebook. Still not sure if it was intentionally racist or not. Like, I want to say, I don't know. Like, I think about it, and it's like, I think the main character was intentionally unlikable, which kind of makes me feel like maybe the racism was on purpose, but also, like, it was never addressed, which kind of makes me think it wasn't, and written by a white woman, and I just, I don't know. Like, I, I genuinely cannot tell. That book was very confusing, and, like, not terrible, but, like, very confusing. So now I'm on to like a generic thriller because I was like, I don't want to have another ebook that like I have to think about too much. <laughs> Let's just read something that requires no thoughts. So there's that. Uh, it's um, Rock, Paper, Scissors by somebody, Alice Feeney maybe. I don't know. Um, but so far it's fine. But yeah, I really have to find a new audiobook. Inventory is over. I don't even remember if I talked about it on the vlog, but... <laughs> We just had inventory at my work, which is the worst time of year, like, by far. It's so much worse than the holidays, because basically we have to count everything in the store. And I work in a grocery store, so, like, inventory is just, like, two straight weeks of stress and working overtime, and then it's over. And then you suddenly just have 16 other things to do, because it's like, oh no. <laughs> Um, it's over. I have two days off in a row because my manager usually does that after inventory because she knows we're all dying. So I love having two days off in a row because I can have like one day to do like productive things and then one day to just like veg 
and be a potato. And today is my potato day. <laughs> I'm so excited. Like genuinely, like you have no idea. I needed this. Um, so basically what I'm planning to do, I have stuffing on the stove that is just like, I don't know what the word is, marinating? It's basically marinating. I know that's not the correct word, but like, it's all combined. It's just like sitting there ready to like, soak in all the flavor of the spices. I, I made it from like a bag, like I'm not making my own stuffing. It's 7.30 in the morning, cause it is 7.30 in the morning. <laughs> um, and I have a stack of books. Um, I have been meaning to read these for like ever. Um, I cannot hold them in a way that you can see the covers. <laughs> um, the Echo Company series by Ellen Emerson White. I know it says Zach Emerson, but um, she wrote these under Zach Emerson, but it's still Ellen Emerson White. And I love these, um, not these, I love her. And I want to love these. And I've always put them off because her favorite book that she has written is a companion novel to these. And I'm so scared to read it because I'm a freak. So <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna read these. Um, I don't think I'll get through all of them today, but I do kind of just plan to veg and read and eat stuffing. Like it's 7.30 in the morning. My plan has already started. And I got a second box of stuffing. So if I want stuffing later, I can make more because it is the food of the gods. Um, but yeah, I, I have a bookmark in here, like literally on chapter one. I am so nervous to read these because I want to love them and I don't know if I will, but I don't know. Today is going to be my veg day. So I might check in a couple times or I might just check in next week and be like, vlogs ever guys, those books were good. Cause that's basically where I'm at. Uh, but yeah, I'm, I'm really excited for today. Cause like never having two days off in a row is really hard. Cause it's just like every day you have off, like you have like 16 things you need to do because like you don't have many days off and it's just like stressful, but I can de-stress. I am so today is going to be just like stuffing and reading and maybe some booktube if I get like tired of reading at some point. We'll see. Here with update number one, I finished Welcome to Vietnam. Um, I spent the second half of this book crying. I don't know why I always go into these thinking like, this will be the Ellen Emerson White book that I find mediocre. And I start like the first 10 pages like, I don't absolutely adore this. And then by like the two thirds point, I realize I've just been crying for like 30 straight pages. And I'm like, Oh no, I kind of love this. So um, I finished this like 15 minutes ago and I still can't really stop crying. And it wasn't even that sad. Like it's sad, you know, <laughs> like it, it is sad. It's like a war book about Vietnam, clearly in the seventies, I think sixties. I'm let's pretend like I'm not dumb. <laughs> um, and it's just like, I, it's not that tragic for a war book like for real it's not it's just like the way she writes it makes everything seem so sad and i mean it is sad it's a war book but like for the things you expect to happen in war you're going in like expecting things to be bad and it's like it is bad but it's like so much worse could happen and it doesn't and that makes it sadder i don't know how she's such a good writer i have to read three more of these like i cannot emotionally take this like she should not be allowed to write like this is not okay but i'm gonna take a break for a while just because like emotionally i can't handle this but this was lovely 10 out of 10 would recommend i'm still crying on camera but it's fine um, I finished all my stuffing and I really wish I had stuffing to you right now, but I'm gonna watch some booktube and like cheer myself up perhaps. It's the next day and I'm very uh, dim in here. Natural lighting is not great today. Um, it's very overcast, which was disappointing. And also now it's like ominous five, so it's just starting to get a little dark anyway. I could turn more lights on in here, but I'm not. Um, was productive today because I did actually have to do life things uh -uh. and like I got up on booktube and I filmed it edited a video so I didn't have time to just like read all day so I am on the third one of these now <laughs> I read most of the second one yesterday after the first one um the second one wasn't as good it 
I mean, not that it was bad. It was a lot more, like, combat military focused. Um, which, I mean, they are in the military in a combat situation in Vietnam. So, it makes sense. Um, it was still fantastic. Just, like, less interesting for me. But I'm on the third one now, which has a new main character. Which I'm not sure how I feel about. Um, she's a nurse in Vietnam. I kind of like the main character, Michael. He was pretty chill, so I'm disappointed to not be seeing more of him at the moment. Like, I know he'll be more in this book, but, like, I was kind of into Michael. So adjusting to Rebecca is a lot. Um, but I do like her, too. Ellen Emerson White is great at, like, likable characters. So I'm working on this. I probably won't finish it today. It's, like, a little bit longer than the other two. And then the fourth one is longer and then the companion is even longer than that um but i'm i'm enjoying this um it is october 30th so i need to end this vlog i haven't filmed in a minute and i also haven't been super active the last few days things have been kind of sad here um i don't want to get into detail because like it's depressing but like if i haven't been responding to like your comments and replies whatever like there's a reason. I've been kind of, like, unresponsive across, like, all platforms. So, yeah. Um, I just wanted to apologize for that in case you make it this far and you actually hear this. Um, I finished, uh, the Echo Company series. Um, this is Stand Down, the fourth book. It was so good. They were all so good. I gave them all five stars, except for the second one, which got four. Um, but these are just stunning like I am so mad that it ended like how dare it end that's not allowed um so I'm gonna read the companion novel next month because like I'm just so stoked for this to continue like it's so good it's literally so good um and now I'm reading The War of the Worlds by H.G. Wells which I may or may not get finished this month this is probably gonna be like early November finish but like I don't have much left. It's a short book, so maybe. Also, the margins in this are, like, the most ridiculously large things I've ever seen in my life. So, there's that. Um, hello, Splane. Today's Mimi's birthday, but, like, haven't really been celebrating much. Like, I got her, like, some treats and some presents, of course. Like, I'm not a monster, but, like, if things have been kind of a bummer. Um, in, in better news, my store is trying to unionize. Um. <laughs> I work at Kroger, and most Krogers are unionized, but my store is not. It's one of, I think, like, two in our area that are not unionized. And there's a, there's a big push right now to try to join the union. So, like, 10 out of 10, I would love that. So I'm trying hard with that, kind of. I mean, I'm not, like, an organizer or anything. I don't want to be like, I'm, like, putting this together. I'm just, like some random who signed up for it and is trying to convince my coworkers to do the same so I'm hoping I'm it's like there's like a I mean they're not gonna stop trying but like there's a big two-week push right now because I was talking to the guy about it um one of the union reps who's coming to my store and I don't know it'd be really awesome if we could um like because most of the stores are unionized like that's a thing like we are a largely unionized corporation it's just my store isn't which is a huge bummer so I don't know that's fun I mean not fun like it's a thing it's good to like be doing something you know and I write a lot this month and I just kind of wanted to film a quick clip right now because I'm editing the vlog and was like I just kind of like stopped in the middle of reading this series I don't know um so yeah, um, leave a comment down below, talk to me, tell me what you're reading, tell me what you're doing, like how was your October, did you do fun spooky things, cause I didn't, I don't know, I'm not a very like seasonal person, like I kinda just do what I do, and you know, I don't do like specific like Halloween-y things or Christmassy things or like, I don't know, I'm boring, but yeah, talk to me. Leave comments, say things, I don't know. <laughs> As always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see y'all again soon.